Hello, this is Marion Penna coming to you from seemstobeso.com. I'm fighting a, a cold at the moment, so please excuse me if I have to take a few breaks to drink some water. Okay, I'm doing this tutorial this today on how to combine machine embroidery borders or even um, designs um, such as continuous line designs so that they butt up next to each other. Um, this is especially important in borders where you want it to have a continuous flow of your border and your corner areas. So I'm going to show you how to do this today in Embrilliance software. You'll find Embrilliance at Embrilliance.com. It's wonderful software. It's a nice edit. It's <coughs> excuse. Me. It's a nice editing software, but it's also a digitizing program. It's something that I've been working on learning over the last few months, but I've used the editing software for a really long time. So I I thought it might be a wise way to show you how. And Brian's not cheap, it's but it's not overly expensive either. And it's based on levels. So you can buy only what you need as far as, you know, the software goes. And you don't have to buy more than what you need either. So that's kind of nice. Now I cannot tell you um, which level merging designs is in, but it's either in Essentials or Enthusiast. It's not in Stitch Artist. There's one part of this that's in Stitch Artist, and I don't know which level of Stitch Artist it's in either, so I apologize for that. But um, I do know that um, you don't have to do the part that is in Stitch Artist. It's, it's, you know, it's, the design will work either way. So, I'm going to show you both, but the Stitch Artist part will come at the very end of this video. So, we need to open a design in Embrilliance. I have my Embrilliance open already, and I have already put the file into a folder so it's easy for me to find. And I'm going to start out with this tiny little border from um, the Christmas Borders collection that I'm about to release in Machine Embroidery. If you click on it, you can see that it will highlight the design. There are two ways, well, there are probably more ways to zoom. There's this one up here that will help you. There's this tool here that will help, and you can use your mouse scroll that will also help you. I have a 4x4 hoop open. When you want to change your hoop and in Brilliance, you simply click on Preferences and come to Hoops and choose your hoop. I always base mine on the Pez design, even though I now stitch most of my embroidery on my FAF. I still base it on Pez. My FAF sees my Pez files, so I don't really have a problem continue with, continuing with using the Pez file, since to me it's the most common format on the um, as far as embroidery designs go. So, I have the 4x4 hoop here, and I have my, my first design. And what I want to do is um, merge this design with the corner or another border at this time. I'm going to show you both really quick. When this opens, um, I think I've miscentered it, and um, so I will reopen my design really quick. When it opens, it centers the design in the hoop for you. And you can take and highlight it. Then with your arrow keys on your keyboard, you can just move it over. You can move it with your mouse also, but I'm giving up the centering. And if I am adding more border, main borders to this, I want to use my arrow keys because I just like the, how it does that better. And I'm not losing the centerness that's already in the hoop. It doesn't matter really if it's centered, but if it's centered, it's easier for you to line up how you want your border, especially when it's a two inch border. And you know you're not gonna have a lot of space there to make sure you keep in line in your hoop. So you wanna keep that centered, if at all possible. Okay, so we're going to merge. I'm going to come down here to merge a stitch file. A working file is what and brilliance makes as a file 
and um, it's a .be file and that's not what I want so I'm going to choose another one of these um, and import it. Now as you can see it comes up here so I'm just going to select this and I'm going to put it up next to here and then as you can see I have it in two spots here but there's just this little section here so I want to scroll in really close because I want to line these up. It's more important to me to line these up than how they are going to stitch on the outer edges of the hoop because I want mine to line up. So I might just come over here and line them up really quick. And if you kept them centered, they're gonna line up much easier than if you had moved it with your mouse and then tried it. But it doesn't matter either because if you, let's say I did move this with my mouse, this design with my mouse here, okay, if I came over here, I, I can still line this up. It's not like it's impossible to do. It's just a little bit more work. And as you can see, it's pretty much lined up. I might want a little, a little space is not going to help me there. Okay. So that's lined up perfectly. <coughs> now the next thing might be, what if I get to my corner? So I'm going to take it, I'm going to, um, for now, I'm going to rotate this. You're going to find rotate up here in this bar. And um, these are several options that you have when you're editing designs and in brilliance. And I'm going to turn it this way because I know I'm going to want this to be up here when I go and put in my corner. So I'm going to take and I'm going to merge another stitch file. I'm going to choose the corner design this time. This is the corner and I'm going to import it and I'm going to move it into place. Okay, and I'm going to line this up first here. Now, I'm moving these, I'm not resizing them into place. Okay, there's a big difference between that. Excuse me, I need to cough. Okay. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that's lined up nicely. Yes, it is. So now I'm going to come up here and I'm going to show you that as you can see here the stitch order right now is kind of out of balance. It's wanting to take a jump stitch from over here to over here. We're going to fix that so that doesn't happen. But first I'm going to move and get this all lined up. And as you can see those dotted lines that are here, those are your jump stitches. So let me see if I've got that lined up. I've got that all nice and lined up well. And what I can do is I can come over here to my objects window and I can just put this move earlier and that will take away that jump stitch. Do you see? No more jump stitch there. It's, it's hooked here instead, which is what we want. Because we don't want a jump stitch when it goes from stitching here into here. Okay. And as you can see, the design is now all nicely put together and we can stitch this out with our stitch sim simulator, which is located right here. And watch how it stitches out. If I were to press these, these would, this is one of the nice things that I like about Stitch Simulator is that this one allows you to, um, if you need to see stitch by stitch by stitch, you could just press this and it will stitch stitch by stitch. And that's really nice when you need really slow stitching to see how something is going to work out. As you can see, it's moved into this border area and into the corner and it's done it nice and smoothly without any issues whatsoever. And hopefully when it stitches out on your machine, it goes the same way. 
these types of de designs are really easy to stitch out because there's no decorative stitches. It's just a simple, normal stitch like you would have on your sewing machine. And it just stitches right in place. And it does it automatically for you. That's that's where you lose your fear of working with free motion. I, I love free motion, please don't get me wrong. But when it comes to things like this, I would not be able to do this really well in a free motion style. So I I really love using continuous line designs in this manner. So here you go, it's all stitched out for you. And the one part I will mention you know, is if you want to make sure that your design is combined and it's all going to work out well, you can take and you can highlight each one of these, come to Stitch Artist, which is here, go to Create, Design, and Combine the Designs. And that will combine them all. Oops. They have to be highlighted. And combine them all. And that will combine them all into one design. And then you can just come up here and you can save a working file, which is the .be file, or save it as a stitch file. And that's what I would do. I would just save it as a stitch file. And I'll name this combine with corner so that I know what it is. Okay, so there you go. Um, I don't think there's anything else to this. It's a really easy thing to do and, 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 brill and Brilliance makes it really easy compared to some of the other softwares out there. I, I have tried them all and we'll eventually do maybe some tutorials in other softwares, especially if I have a request to. But, um, and Brilliance will allow you to do do a 30-day trial on the software. I don't make any money for endorsing it. I'm not an affiliate or anything like that. I use the software. I own the software and I enjoy it. So that's why I chose to do this in Brilliance because it's this one software that I really, really like having on my PC, especially when I need to edit a design. I thank you very much for your time today, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to combine the designs. And let me just say that the process is pretty much the same in all the, the softwares. You're, it's just a matter of how you move the design. Some softwares make it easy. Some of them don't make it so easy. Um, in some softwares, it might be called insert instead of merge. In some, it might be just a simple matter of opening a design. It's, it just varies on what the software is. If you play around, you will get it, and it's very easy. And a, a lot, and, and this is a common thing. I, I don't think I'm doing a tutorial here that doesn't probably have a 20 or so tutorials out there already on the other softwares. So it's not like you can't find those softwares to show you how to do it in your software. I'm not telling you to buy Embrilliance. I'm just showing you how to do this based on Embrilliance and how it's done in that software. Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now.